So today we're using matchsticks and working out how many shapes you can make with different matchsticks. And I was saying that that links really well to the thought process behind division. So today we're going to see why. And we're going to start the transition from you using equipment to understand that to actually being able to it just being like a mental process. So you can just see it, the, the, the methodology really clearly. So you might need a little bit longer still using the matchsticks or doing the drawings, but we'll take you on a journey. So eventually you won't need that anymore. It'll just be like a mental process that you're building. And um, so let's get going by recapping on, uh, on some of that thinking yesterday with those matchsticks. It's always right to start off going back and looking at some of this uh, work that comes through. So Isaac, one of our year threes, well done, well done. Look at this. We've got this different area model that Isaac's broken down. Um, and, and this was where we were doing the challenges. We were working out the products and the sums. And Isaac found a brilliant system for doing that. So um, for, for with these kind of combinations here, which is fantastic. So this was uh, combinations where the, um, the product is 48. So can you see one and 48 and two and 24 and so on. What a great system there and what a great effort. So well done. It's wonderful to see Isaac. Um, now yesterday we had a look at um, using matchsticks um, and how this is going to help us to understand division and we were saying if I'm thinking how many triangles we made with 20 matchsticks is very much like division. So we're going to have a go at a few questions like this. You can pause the video if you need to, but otherwise you, you might just be able to picture this now. Um, again, it could be that you actually need to make this with matchsticks, but equally you might not need to now. So ha have a go. How many matchsticks can be made with 20? How many triangles even can be made with 20 matchsticks? Tell the screen. Should we have a look? Well, of course, six whole triangles. We could make six lots of three is 18. Two matchsticks left over. Again, have a go at the next one. How many triangles with 21 matchsticks then? Oh, that'd be different. Tell the screen. Well, it is, you ready? Seven triangles, seven lots of threes, 21. So I'm gonna change that now. So what about how many triangles can be made with 26 matchsticks? We could see that seven could be made with 21. What about 26? Well, there we've got another five matchsticks. So in total, uh, eight threes are 24. Um, and then we've got these two matchsticks left over. Um, what about this one? How many octagons can be made with 26 matchsticks? So well, an octagon, is, it, it will have eight matchsticks in it. So how many eights in 26? Well, uh, eight lots of, uh, three lots of eight even are 24. Two matchsticks left over again. Um, hope you got on well with those. How about this one? Here's an extra little challenge. So how many matchsticks um, can I make? Three hexagons and have m four matchsticks left over. Okay, so how many matchsticks must that be in total? Again, you might want to pause the video. You might need to make it. You might just be able to tell the screen now. Okay, well, let's have a little look. So three hexagons six matchsticks in each hexagon. So six times three is 18. And then I've got these four left over. So in total, 22 matchsticks. Now the activity today is called division, pictures and thoughts. Because what we want you to be able to do is, for example, using the matchsticks and other representations that we'll show you, it is something that we can do physically and we can move things around to help understand and answer division questions. But what we want you to eventually to be able to do is to be able to do the calculation, really, just by picturing that in your mind's eye and thinking about that without actually needing the equipment. Now, it might be today you need to keep using the matchsticks um, to help you to answer the questions, which is fine. But eventually we want to get to the point where you actually don't need them anymore. Um, so we'll have a look at, at how we can help to see that. So yesterday we had a look at, and this is the kind of challenge we've opened with, with 16 matchsticks, how many pentagons can you make? How many matchsticks will be left over? Um, and we could see we could we could make three pentagons and there's one matchstick left over. Now, this is just the same as the thinking if I'm doing 16 divided by five, because I'm thinking, well, how many fives in 16? Just like I'm thinking, well, how many pentagons um, will I be able to make? And will there be anything left over? And the answer, well, it was three, uh, remained a one or three three pentagons and one matchstick left over. Have a look at that. Can you see how that's the same? So there's the three and that's the one remainder, one left over. And it's just the same thought process. Uh, so with 16 matchsticks, how many triangles? Well, that's just the same thought process as 16 divided by three. How many threes in 16? How many threes in 16? Let's have a look. 
there are five remainder one. Just the same as I can make five triangles, one matchstick left over. Uh, hopefully you can see why we've done this to help you with division. Now, just in the same way, we, we've looked at area models like this one when we were looking at multiplication. 9 times 4 equals 36. There's 9 and 4 lots of 9. Now, also I could look at this area model by thinking, well, it's 36 in total. Now, how many lots of 9 in 36? Well, of course, there are 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 lots of 9 in 36. So we can see how division is the inverse of multiplication. Now, if I was thinking, well, what about 38 divided by 9? Then my model would just change a little bit because I think, well, how many whole 9s do I have in 38? I've got 4 and there's 2 left over, you know, so this hasn't completed another 9 yet. So 38 divided by 9, 4 remainder 2. So 20 divided by 8 equals 2 remainder 4. Now, your challenge is for this calculation, I want you to pause the video. What picture can represent this calculation? Could you show it with a picture for matchsticks? Could you show it with an area model? Um, draw it or tell the screen, what will the picture look like? Okay, well, let's have a look. And I think this is going to help you build understanding that it's going to help you um, for division, for all the division you do from now on. Um, so a picture, well, I've got two. Um, how many eights in 20? I could show with uh, with my matchsticks here. Um, so these two octagons and there's four matchsticks left over. So in total, I've got eight, 16 and those four, I've got 20 matchsticks. Or it could be this area model, one eight, two eights, and then the remainder here of four. Now, if I really understand this, this will help me when I do my I know and so questions. Um, so 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Um, how many 5s in 20? There are 4. Now that can help me then. So when I come to do the question below, I can use what I know here to help me to answer the question below. So again, I want you to choose either the sequence on the left or the sequence on the right. Um, pause the video and how can you use the question above to help you to work out the one below? Okay, so let's have a look at these little sequences. So 20 divided by 5 equals 4. How many 5s in 20? There are 4. So 23 divided by 5? 4 remainder 3. So it's the, it's the same as the question above, apart from we have these 3 extra. That's not another whole lot of 5, so 4 remainder 3. 33 divided by 5? Well, it is another 10. That's another 2 lots of 5, so 6 remainder 3. 35 divided by 5? Well, how many 5s in 35? There are, there are 7. Now notice the difference here, that that's two more, which is enough to make another whole lot of five. Um, and let's have a look at this sequence here. Um, for 40 divided by eight equals five. 50 divided by eight, it's one more lot of eight and a remainder of two. Um, 52 divided by eight then uh, is six remainder four. And um, what about, well, we know how many eights are in 52. There's six and the remainder is four. Well, what about, um, 52 divided by 4 then. What's the link there? Can we see? So actually I, I, I'll have double the number of um, of 4s in 52 as I have 8s in 52. So 6 remainder 4 will double the 6 and also I've got this remainder of 4 and of course that when I divide it by 4 is another 1. So here we go, your task for today. Um, you might have a go at task A. Um, if you're doing task A, again, if you're not sure how to actually do the calculation, you can always use those matchsticks. So how many pentagons can you make with 32 matchsticks and so on? And to help you to see those calculations, although it might be you can just see that in your, in your, in your mind's eye now, you can picture it instead. Um, so, and then the last question says, which of these questions is the hardest? So which one of those two do you think is the hardest? Why is that? Is it 32 divided by 4, 14 divided by 4? Um, it might be you have a go at task B. The questions are very similar, but the challenge of the calculation increases slightly. Um, so again, have a go answering those questions. Which one is the hardest and why? Now, there aren't too many questions there, so I thought you might be able to get to the extend task. So in the extend task, there's an easy way to understand how you can extend this the challenge here. So see if you can put a number in each section. Uh, numbers that divide by three with no remainder in this oval. 
numbers that divide by four, no remainder in this oval. It might be that some numbers go in both ovals, or it might be some go in neither. Now, if you want an extension, here's my suggestion. See if you can come up with numbers that go in each section where the numbers are more than 50. Um, equally, you might try, try and see if you can work out just a number that goes in each section. Do that at a level you think is just right for you, extends you, takes you to the next level. Uh, answers to the main tasks are at the bottom. Um, and again, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, great to have you joining in.